The steps we will follow to apply an adjustment, specifically an adjustment via an adjustment layer, in Photoshop are First, select the layer the adjustment should be applied to. The new adjustment layer will appear above whatever layer is selected and affect all layers below. Second, select the Create New Fill or New Adjustment Layer icon from the bottom of the Layers panel. I like to call it the black and white cookie. It is a circle that is half white and half black. Next, choose the type of adjustment you wish to apply. Notice not all adjustments are currently available in the screenshot I've included to the left side of the slide. A regular layer will be able to have any adjustments applied to it, but the layer I have selected, which is the Gradient Map Adjustment Layer, cannot accept an exposure, vibrance, or black and white adjustment due to the properties of that layer. Last, make decisions about your adjustment via the Properties panel. If you ever need to go back and make changes to your adjustment layer, you can always return to the Properties panel. In addition to these four basic steps, you may also want to consider spicing up your adjustments by using layer blending modes in conjunction with an adjustment layer to produce a combined effect, lowering the opacity on the adjustment to make the change blend more smoothly or more subtly with the original image, or apply a layer mask to your adjustment layer to have the adjustment only apply to some of the layer. A new layer mask will automatically be created with your adjustment so you can either edit it after the fact or if you're proactive and make a selection before you apply your adjustment layer, Photoshop will automatically fill the layer mask in for you. Let's talk about some of the adjustment layer options available in Photoshop. The very first one at the top of the adjustment layers flyout menu at the bottom of the layers panel is a solid fill color adjustment layer. This type of adjustment layer can be used to change the color of the background of an image or in conjunction with layer blending modes to adjust the overall color of the image. If, you like, if you'd like to use it to change the color of the background, there must be some form of transparency on the layer either through destructive editing and the deletion of pixels or via a layer mask which will remove the pixels non-destructively.